Hello, and welcome to English 1302 with me, the Tiger King. No, not really. My name is Professor Heaton. This is me down here, the real me. Okay, <laughs> they had this other filter too where you could choose someone from Tiger King. I gotta, are you ready? Who am I? Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm a child. All right, so. Uh, I'm going to go through the Blackboard page really quickly, go through all the boring stuff, just so you feel prepared and ready to rock and roll for class. You might hear my kids in the background. They're crazy. Okay, so, uh, and here's the email that you should have gotten uh, with this video attached along with it. Key things to know before class begins. This is the basic way class is going to work. All assignments, all the readings, all the resources will be announced on Mondays, with the exception of the beginning of class, because generally with TCC on summer courses, that begins a, on a Tuesday, and will be due on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So you have all this week to get all the reading, all the resources done, and then you have until Sunday at 11.59 p.m. to complete the assignment. Your final essay for this class is going to be a research-based project over the film. So I'll have different options for you to choose. And hold on, it's craziness. So uh, like I said, I'll give you three different options to choose for a film, and then you're gonna do a research-based assignment over that film. But we'll talk more about that in the coming weeks. Don't, don't worry about it too much right now. Okay, once class begins, I will be available on Google Hangouts for office hours Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So attached right here is a document that will show you how to use Google Hangouts. What you've got to do is you've got to make sure that you add me as a contact by using this email address, scott.heaton at my.tccd.edu. So make sure you type in that email address. Uh, and the one thing that you need to do before class begins, if you can, if you can't, don't stress about it, but is to try and complete your introductions discussion board in the lessons folder. So that's right here. You'll click on lessons. And the introduction uh, discussion board is right there. So um, if you click on introductions, oh look, someone's already, uh, you'll click create thread. And this is what I want you to do. That's me right there. That's my fa They're the ones screaming in the background. Not my wife, she's not screaming in the background. My children, they are, they're really cute. So this will give you uh, some instructions on how to do the discussion board post. And uh, that way I can get to know who you are, Hopefully what you look like, if you're really crazy, maybe you can post a video if you're really wild. Uh, but I just wanna see what you look like. That way you're not just a name, but I can get to learn who you are, okay? So here's how everything's gonna work. To get started, what you'll do is you'll click on lessons, lessons. And then obviously you have the class organized into different weeks. I realize that some of you might not be in the June course. So you might be watching this video or other videos that I have, and this might say July or something, or maybe May, depending on when you're taking this course. Um, and that's okay, but you'll click week one, which is over class. So you'll see that I've got different uh, units for the class. We have class, gender, race, and then we move into the final research project on week four. So to get going, you'll click on week one, but I'll send out another video with more specifics there. So here's how it'll work. Let's go over the syllabus really quickly, get over all the boring stuff, and that way you can be on your way. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Okay. All right, so um, if you need to email me, you can use this email address. Once again, I'll be available on Google Hangout between 12 to two every Monday through Friday. So course description, overall focus of the course. How are the various sects we encounter shaped by society? How do they shape society? How do they influence our individual collective worldviews? How can we write about these texts in order to better understand them, introduce them to others, or analyze their impact and significance to our cultural and social landscape? So uh, in class, which is gonna be discussion-based discussions and minor writing assignments and activities, we'll focus on the concept of identity. Each of these texts has been chosen as a means of answering questions such as, what makes me who I am? How do I know that? How do I relate to other people? How does my family influence who I am? How does my community influence who I am? How do the individuals in a society form a communal identity and what shapes these communal identities? And we're gonna do that through the lens of class, gender, and race. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I can rumba, Professor Heaton. These are super controversial. 
Yes, indeed, they are. And the reason why I choose these more controversial topics is because they allow us to form actual opinions. We actually have to wrestle with these things to formulate our own ideas and also to respond to others in a critical way, uh, which helps because this class is all about thinking uh, unique and original ideas and communicating them effectively. Okay, So you can look over course objectives and learning outcomes. It's the general English stuff. There's no required textbook for this course or other outside resources. I will provide everything for you as a clickable link uh, in the lessons folder each week. So once you click on lessons, everything that you need will be in that file as a clickable link. So grades, your final grade will be total on a 100 point system. So each point earned directly corresponds to a percentage point. Please know I do not accept any late assignments. All quizzes, assignments, major essays must be completed by their due dates. Uh, but here's how it's going to work. It's going to be really simple. There are very, very few grades for this course because it's compressed so tightly. We have like four and a half weeks to do this, and I'm giving you like five grades, which is not much at all. So please keep in mind, yes, there are very few grades, which is good for you because it doesn't mean that you're doing tons and tons of things. However, it means that each one of these counts is a lot, so you cannot shy away from them. You cannot let one skip. You cannot let one slip. And uh, if you do, things could be really rough for you. Okay? So there are four weekly grades that will be worth 15 points apiece, which will be totaling 60 points. So these are short essays, and they're really not even essays. They're really like paragraphs is what you're doing. You're writing a body paragraph, and you're writing other body paragraphs in response to your peers. Uh, and discussion board formats that will focus on identification and implementation of knowledge learning in class. Uh, there will be one research essay. It's going to be 40 points. Students will choose a text to research. It's really going to be a film. Uh, then they will use their research to construct an essay that examines the social issues themes present in the text and make an argument for one, why their audience should care about this issue, and two, how the text contribute to their understanding of the issue. Okay? So absence policies, uh, it's the, the general stuff that if you miss 15% or more of the class, I'm within my rights to drop you from the course, which I do not plan on doing unless you're just ghosting me hard and I can't get in contact with you in any way, shape, or form. The way absences work with uh, my online courses at least is that if you have an on-time submission for the class for that week, you will be counted present. If you do not submit the assignment or if it is late, you will be counted absence okay so if you need any accommodations for the class please make sure you set up an appointment with the SAR office they're doing that virtually now I believe and make sure that I get that paperwork that way I can know how to accommodate you in any means possible uh, to my knowledge though everything nothing here is really time-based other than due dates so there's not any quizzes there's not any tests it's just the discussion posts in your final essay and that's it so uh, please let me know if there's any other way I can help you uh, in terms of the format. You can read other, over other important information. Um, so this is the syllabus. It's super, super simple. So week one, uh, you will be reading Puppy by George Saunders, A Good Man is Hard to Find by Flannery O'Connor, The Unknown Citizen by W.H. Auden. And then I just tell you when your discussion board post is due. Uh, week two is gender. Same thing. I let you know what the texts are and when the due date is. Uh, that's how it's going to work for gender, for race. And then once we get to week four, we're going to focus solely on your research project. So that should be, I think it's going to be fun because you're watching a film and then researching it and analyzing it. And then week five is essentially just extending time for you, uh, which is not a full week. I don't draw your attention to that. For you to work on your final essays. Okay? So once again, once class starts, you'll simply click on Lessons. You'll click on the corresponding week that you're working on, and all the resources that you need for class will be a clickable link, so it shouldn't be too difficult, okay? You all are awesome humans. I look forward to getting to know you, hopefully see your faces in that introduction, um, and if you need any assistance, feel free to email me or hop on Google Hangouts, and I will hear from you all soon.